Hi guys, so this is on the Colfi concealers and I grabbed three colors and it goes from lightest to darkest, but I grabbed Cocoa Crush, Rose Rush, and Extra Lachy or Alachi. I don't know what's, what's what, but I'm gonna go ahead and do a sample swatch on my hand again and a sample swatch on my face. So the reason why I also grabbed this is because it has a lot of moisturizing ingredients in it, which I prefer because I need something that has both correction and a lot of moisture, <laughs> especially right now. So some of the ones that just stand out are licorice root extract, uh, rosa can of fruit extract, hibiscus, sunflower seed oils, rapeseed oils, things like that. And overall, I saw that this one was a really highly reviewed one. So I again put them in lightest to darkest. Cocoa Crush is at the top, then it's Rose, and then it's Extra Elegy. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I'm going to go ahead and swatch all three on my hand so you guys can see it. But um, this is... I'm going to go ahead and do this. So I would say normally I'm like a light to medium with like neutral to warm undertones. Um, so I'm going to do lightest to darkest here. So this is Cocoa Crush. You guys can see the consistency. All right but I keep wearing each one on different on a different eye under eye and I noticed that it's definitely probably going to be Coco Crush but this is Rose Rush I still think Rose Rush is it it just looks more like my color but I'm afraid it's just too dark like it might be more like closer foundation Versus like actually, but this is Rose Rush, Coco Crush. And I love the consistency on this. I've tried like different ones like NARS and Morphe and like Tarte. Shape Tape was my original favorite. And then this is Extra Lachy. This is definitely too orange foundation style, but it's hard to tell when you're ordering online, but those are the three. And then I'm gonna do a swatch on my face. Coco Crush, farthest from here, go like that, both sides. That is Coco Crush. I don't know, maybe I don't know how to match stuff well. If you guys can, leave me a comment. Which one do you think is more of the two? I already kind of knocked out extra lachy because I like I'm like this is way too dark. This is definitely closer to a foundation color. And there we go. And that's the three. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this off now. Coco Crush on my left, and then Rose Rush on my right. So this is Coco Crush on my left. I go a little bit in the corner. A little bit up there, a little bit here for a lift. Oh no. Rose Rush, I'm gonna do this on my right side. Again, right there on the lift. Right there. Okay, it's not an excessive difference, but if you can see, this one has a little bit more pink undertones, and this one has a little bit more neutral to warm. I'm gonna go ahead and blend them out now. This is Cocoa Crush. And I'm not gonna set it because setting it might change the color on camera. Okay, that's Cocoa Crush. And then the other side we're gonna do this one was the Rose Rush. Honestly, it's not an excessive difference. But I do think I've not been getting good sleep, so concealer is my best friend. But there's the Cocoa Crush. The Rose Rush, I'm going to be doing them lightest to darkest. 
So far, my favorite has been Rose Rush for me personally. Um, I'm usually a light to medium with uh, neutral undertones. With my foundation, I usually go warm, but for concealer, I do neutral. But this is, again, Coco Crush Rose Rush and then Extra Alachi. This one, I think, is more of my like foundation color, but it needs to be a little bit more neutral. And then this one is the one that I usually use. Um, and then I will do a... Um, a swatch under here. This one is again Coco Crush. We're gonna go underneath here. Coco Crush on this side. So what I do is I just do that little dab in the corner and I do a lift and then I do one more here and up. And my day-to-day -day, um, usually consists of just concealer. But then this is the Rose Rush. I'm gonna do it on this side, the corner, and then the lift. All right. And then it also depends on how much sun I've gotten. I'm gonna go ahead and blend out the Rose, the Cocoa Crush. I have noticed that all day wear wise, cause I've worn this at least 10 times before I did this video, all day wear wise that this is really, really, really like the staying power is really good. And then I'm gonna go ahead and blend out. That's the Cocoa Crush. This is the Rose Rush. The staying power is really good. And then the powder I use to usually set it is, um, either the flower bakery one or it's not an extensive difference but on camera I think you can tell that this side's a little bit brighter and this side has a little bit more like an orange undertone but I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it on my hand one last time so you guys can also see it um, for me I ended up sticking with the Rose Rush because this one I think it looks really good on camera but over time I noticed that the grayness tends to pop out a little bit more so I think this would definitely be more for light tones and then this one's more like light medium like my color. And then just last minute thoughts on this um, like I said long wear wise it does a pretty good job I would say up to eight hours. And then in between that, I would feel like I would need to touch up. But moisturizing wise, I noticed that I don't have any issues. I don't break out with this at all. And it's really easy for removal. Okay, if you guys have any other questions, please leave me a comment below. Uh, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.